What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Torip Silva. Happy Friday. We still need to strain up our our mind, our cognitive processing, and your immunity during this 2020 under the influence of the COVID-19. The effective, the negative effect that has on most of us, and also the positive as well too, that who are in tune. And the negative one that are in tune to it, the abomination agendas. However, those who are in tune in the peaceful warrior positions. We are here inhibiting with artificial intelligence, with that cyborg, unorganic artificial intelligence giving rise to the mass. <laughs> Which really makes like AI really solid, you know, not knowing out. Who they are because they can't see who they are. So that's a reflection when you look yourself. You ask yourself, Who am I? That's when you know who you actually are and more to come with you. Yeah. So, those who are see through this dirty lens, if you see this dirty lens unendowably, unequivocally, shifting quickly with the right understanding that the artificial intelligence is not other than than who? Than, than the humans who were raised here and influenced by the programming that we see on televisions. Human who were raised programmed from the fallen empire that that if we love that not not if we love we love but if there was love anywhere there it would have stand the test of time but instead again as any a magnificent civilization and a magnitude of splendor solitude of the soul of spirit and also that in there with the sugar and spice right and out of, and everything that that. Necessary. Nice as well too. <sighs> Need I say? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Need I say nakedness, which we all naturally enjoy, and the talent, the elegant style, the beauty of nature, her herself, the spring, the way she, the way she walked, the way she talked. She talks so eloquently, she walks so elegantly, she looks so glamorous. It's like the tendency towards the unification, supporting the next generations. She undress and then unbless. So joy US, so no more stress. She lay her head on my chest. And I do likewise on her breasts. And nevertheless, she, looking at her, it's just like she take my breathless. Away, <laughs> she take my breath away, breath taken me, she breath taken me, she literally take my breath away every now and then again. My breath is shaking, it's vibratory, it's like the vibration soothing in and out of the wholesome. The vibration, <laughs> it has the vibration of the, the lips, lips just... <laughs> and wholesome with your widest. Because you are the widest fruits that I enjoy, the juicy fruits dreaming you into life, dreaming you into life. It's life worth exploring, life worth voyaging, life worth adoring, life worth that's exploring the life you dream of in the most forbidden kingdom of the loving kindness towards all sentient beings. It's not forbidden, but you forbidden yourself, so you gotta open up your heart because I fully turn and love you. See yourself to transmute yourself. See others. And see yourself exploring the lofty dream of inner most forbidden kingdom of the loving kindness towards all sentient beings. It's not forbidden, but you forbid yourself, so you gotta open up your heart because I fully turn and love you. See yourself to transmute yourself, see others, and see yourself as one. You can see like that if you know how to see like that. This is a very transformative time, it's a transformation when you transmute. I mean, it's that metamorphosis. The process is increasingly energetically rising upon the treasure house, the treasure reservoir, the treasure within oneself that is lying dormant, the wisdom waiting to, to arise, the, the wisdom that's waiting to, the answer for the universal love that created a peaceful warrior. It comes, peaceful warrior, universal love, love is universal, peace, inner peace, be still. Warrior battle, conquer yourself. Peaceful warrior formulated in time, space, universal. Number. Because my love is inherently one. Now let's get to the three ways to strain your immunity during this age, this age of Corbin 19. 
that has negative influence on us, yet we are all in it, just not of it. So the three things, the one thing that you will want to do, the one thing, the first things since I have discovered, then I found it, discover it, seek to it, which is meditations, which lead to the blossoming frequency represented a number following two, which is the positive emotional force and mental attitude towards health, education, spiritual health, spiritual wealth, spiritual abundance, to lead us to number three, right? Which is healthy lifestyle. What is lifestyle? Changing your diet, changing your quality of mind, changing your high quality nutrition, the ultimate health in nature, being tuned, wisdom, panya, trust, love. So what is meditation? First and foremost is to transcend, to let things go to focus on the breath. This is, there's isn't much in depth in meditation, but that's one of it though, to get you the relaxation. And number two, two, nature, which is dwelling, grounding yourself. And three, of course, is vegan veganism, is in the process of becoming a vegan. Fruitarians, or flexitarians, or pescetarians. It's a positive change in entirety of your emotion, controlling it, or it will control you, because if you're consuming so much meat, the emotion is going to be out of your control. The ego of emotion, we talk about the differentiation between the positive emotion that are ego-driven, that generating deeper emotion that emanated from your natural state of being, the connectedness. So it's the connectedness, it's the, the polarity between right and left, dark, light. It's the opposite, opposite polarity of masculine and feminine. The ego of emotion have the opposite polarity side, which is the eco, <laughs> or heaven in other words, on earth, whatever one you want to prefer. But ego, ego, some of this so similar. So just know the eco instead of ego. So it's a very distinct difference between, between the light and dark, which you already know. Have the light shine to the dark. What's next together is going to be a blessing. So that's the positive of the ego disco, which you already know now, right? So the ego is possessive of things that has no true love. It's possessive of things that has no true love. That's the ego. It's addictive, right? It's very, it's clean. It's clean attachment and also it requires volition. It requires volition a lot of love. <laughs> embodiment that can have heaven is a place on earth. The love embodiment can, can have heaven on earth. The love embodiment can have love on earth. The body of heaven can have, can love have, can have love on earth. As far as the ego anticipations is for the future and expectation, the future of the ego is just expecting um, the future for, for the person's um, high, high expectations, meeting the requirements, if you let down, it's a low down, it's a disappointment, that's, that's ego, you know, we all have that, but you just, you just gotta know what, what what is it that you're expecting? It's like expecting something of yourself. That's a different story. You set a goal for yourself because the greatest of all is love. That's the goal, right? That's number one. <laughs> it's and disappointment is the uh, is it, it, evaluating event, but number one, to live there in the present moment, here and now, not delaying time because it doesn't want to feel alive. Rather than it just complain, it's number one to just enjoy the moment. That's the ego. And how can you feel alive? Rather, you, you you also want to just have praise and recognition to be happy. That's from the outside source. That's not from your inner source. And that's it's, it's not it's inorganic. It's not organic. It's just it's not even. It's like you need something to compliment you in order for you to be happy. You need some external thing in order for you to be happy. That is an interesting phenomenon because happiness is a deprivation from outside sources caused by dam damaging the psychology. So anything that from the outside source is it's, it's, it's deprivations. That's why you gotta. Rise about the deprivation, you gotta transcend about the deprivations, right? <laughs> Thus, with the spiritual, spiritual psychology, <laughs> does cause one to reaction because you have no, it's just everything and it's just reaction, you know, and that's not good. You gotta be able to center yourself, ground yourself for just a little bit before you make that. You know, you have that standpoint, you gotta be stable, uh, civilize yourself so you can choose a new pathway that take you to further analysis or downhill. You can slide down if not do any investigations. The opposite is true that the logic mind it's like to just say take, take, take yourself for example right back back in the youth back in the adolescent you got to go partying knowing that the next dawn it's going to be hangover right 
but still the pleasure was so intriguing, intensely mesmerizing that you just just want to take that booze to drink and you just want to go out and have fun and get get, get crunk, right? And what happened the next day? <laughs> so there's nothing there's nothing out there that's low without the high. The vibration as in nature naturally is oscillating, right? So that's that's everything else. You feel the high, you feel the low. What goes up must come down. The pleasure after the pain. However, put the, however we just put in the pain and make the gains, right? <laughs> but this is a positive thing. Do like you put in for your for your your body and work with the mind. That's the mechanic, the kinetic changes that we work, the neurophysiology, the, the, the nervous system to be calm, kind, gentle. The positive emotion generated generate or derived from the subconscious mind. Identification with external factors which are liable to shift. You shift your you shift your mind, your mindset and changes at any moment and at any given time in this mundane term. It needed to be taken taken good care of. Give some love. For st uh, stability emotion, the deeper emotion is a state of being, life force, feeling is the emotion of, of the force. The force is the life tron, the life energy, the prana, if you like. Freely welcoming a sense of typically information that generate generating them regarding the state of beings. It's just like on a network out of a ether, if you like. That's what Nikola Tesla would say. Yes, the frequency of 369 to ether, the god life force, Buddhahood. Right, Buddha Satava, <laughs> Christ conscious, the state of being, feeling that can be obscure, obscure sometimes, right? But they have no, they do have the opposite, which is the light that emanated from within you as love, joy, peace that are our aspect of true essence of our nature, from our core. Thank you for viewing. Just want to share this a little bit with you guys about the nature and the three things that we can do for ourselves to boost of immunity, to be happy, to be joyful in this time, and enjoy the plant, base, food, enjoy, enjoy whatever the plants that have to offer. It's amazing, it's spectacular, it is a catalyst, it is, it is, a, it is a blessing. <laughs> can, can you stop it? Keep on going. <laughs>